r slash ask reddit what do you swear on your life to be 100% true i bowled a 289 friend that went with me is notorious for making up details no one believes me 288 here luckily it was an attorney and i have trophies to prove it i'm luckily my friends don't give a shit very nice i'm lucky to get triple figures but in my defense my local alley has a very good bar and i spend my time there between frames disney made frozen so that when you googled disney frozen you would get search results about the movie and not about walt disney supposedly being cryogenically frozen now this is a conspiracy theory i can't get behind I mean not really, if you google Walt Disney Frozen you'll see that almost all results about Walt Disney being frozen and nothing about the movie, so either it didn't work or it's not true. It is the kiss of death to change lines at the grocery store. I go to the same cashier every time, don't care if she has a line and the next register is empty, she's a sweet old lady and the 3 minutes of conversation we have while I'm checking out make my shopping trip more pleasant. See I'm the opposite. Give me the cashier that won't even make eye contact with me and gets me out the door as fast as possible. If I'm having a bad day it can always get worse. Like nuclear bomb detonating in your country and you are outside of the kill zone but in the zone where you get third degree burns worse. Very similar. You have to say this edible ain't shit. To fully activate the edible. If my children are really into a fruit or a snack. The minute I buy a big box of it, they will be sick of it and never eat it again. Edit. I can see now that we need some kind of centralized lunchbox snack exchange system. I can trade someone 55 pouches of Welch's fruit gummies but only for Wegmans red fruit tape. Which is evidently the new favorite thing. I think the scarcity of a snack makes it more desirable. Can I interest you in 57 pouches of fruit gummies? You can make things foolproof but the world will make better fools. Reminds me of a Douglas Adams quote, A common mistake that people make when trying to design something completely foolproof is to underestimate the ingenuity of complete fools. The difficulty of designing bear-proof trash cans in a national park is that there is considerable overlap between the intelligence of the smartest of bears and the dumbest of tourists. If you're running late you will be stuck at every possible red light. And if you're trying to take your time because your carry out order won't be ready for another 15 minutes, you will catch every possible green light. Same thing happens if you're about to shit your pants. Sunday does not have 24 hours. And Monday has about 1000 hours. Sunday is more or less ruined by 11am. If your bus is late, spark up a cigarette and it will instantly arrive. And you will have to wait 2 hours for a bus, only to have 3 arrive at the same time. Rock Bottom has a strange but efficient bus schedule. John McAfee's body is still in a freezer in a Spanish morgue. Had a passenger tell me he came into their bar once, said he had like 6 armed security dudes with him, sat at a table by himself, and paid for his drinks individually in cash so he wouldn't leave a paper trail. Where does security people get 4 extra arms? Rocks are soft and squishy, they just tense up when you touch them. Cooks? Depends who's touching em. My life will get better. Everything will be alright in the end and if it's not alright, it's not the end. It will grow. I love the saying that my friend told me once. Jokingly in that situation even though it can be a nice way to look at it, it will get better because it can't get any worse. Time passes quicker the older you get. Do the things right now that you want to do. Don't wait for later. Your brain reuses pathways to make memories when it can. If you do the same thing every day then it reuses them rather than forming new pathways and new memories. Reusing an existing pathway makes time feel faster. Forming new ones makes it feel slower. The older you are, the more pathways you have to reuse. The more settled down you are into a routine. The more you reuse the same ones, the more weird and crazy shit you do, the longer your life feels. So go out and do new things, live in new places, try new experiences and you'll have a longer life. Also, adrenaline makes you save memories more vividly, so scare the shit out of yourself whenever you can. This explains why I remember none of 2020, I lived the same week on repeat for months and months on end, work all day, fret in anxiety all night. Saturday, walk the dog at 11, 
Get back. Cook a chicken dinner. Stew in anxiety all Sunday. Repeat. The makers of baby wipes intentionally wrap them in a way so when you pull one out the container you get two three and waste them because they are a beach to put back in. What I do is I keep an extra empty package of wipes and put the ones that come out unintentionally in that package. It's so much easier to put them in another empty package instead of trying to cram them back in. You always run the risk of not pushing them in all the way so then the package stays open and all of a sudden you've dried out the whole thing. This way you don't have to worry about that and you can just shove them in and close it up. It might be worth a try for you. The way people drive and the way they use a shopping trolley are directly linked. I swear by this. And also how they walk down the street. I'm convinced people who go sideways or stop at the middle of the sidewalk without looking around do the same when driving. There's definitely something amiss in this universe and we're not ready for it. No no no. You can't make this comment and just run away. Please explain I'd really love to understand what do you meant by this. You're not ready for it. Stock market manipulation. The reason why a handful of billionaires own all of the major news sources. What do you buy after you have all the things? Whatever helps you keep the ability to buy all the things. You can summon your period by wearing white pants. Or go on vacation. Especially a romantic one where you want to have lots of sex. Edit. Some people don't like to have sex on their period and that's okay. I, personally, don't like sex while on my period. And I am okay with that. I literally moved my wedding up a week to avoid the period on my wedding day. Didn't matter. My period came a week early. That whoever threw that paper, their mom's a hoe. Man I hope that great teacher still out here calling children mamas hoes or mayo. Reddit is a cesspool of misinformation. Unfortunately Reddit and the internet at large has become nothing more than a constant churn of knee-jerk reactions to complicated topics that have been reduced to a single headline attached to articles that nobody actually reads. A post that is literally nothing more than a screenshot of a tweet written by an absolute nobody will receive just as much reverence, if not more, than a sourced essay written by an expert. The internet was the chance for the general population to take control of information and have the entire knowledge of the world at our fingertips, and it has done nothing but spread ignorance, widen inequality and scramble our brains. Every cart I pull at Walmart has at least one square tire. As someone who brings in carts I can tell you there is a really simple explanation. Customers horribly abuse the poor carts and management is always way I, 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 I too cheap to bother fixing them properly. At my store, once a year they get a repair company to come in and fix the broken ones. The carts are always back to being in bad shape within the month, at most. I worked at Walmart for 2 months when I left the military as a kind of buffer job. I didn't take it seriously at all. And when the maintenance dude left for the day, I'd sneak off to the back room to fix carts until my shift was done. Probably fixed wheels on a couple hundred carts in my 2 months. IDK. It was just kind of therapeutic. Being alone is better than having the wrong people in my life. Prove me wrong. The worst thing in life is not being alone. It's being with people who make you feel alone. Semicolon Robin Williams those may not be the exact words, but I was too lazy to google it. I got to actual quote, I used to think that the worst thing in life was to end up alone. It's not. The worst thing in life is to end up with people who make you feel all alone. Fun fact, this line was actually written by Bobcat Goldthwait for a movie called World's Greatest Dad. Robin Williams was the actor who said the line. They changed the Reese's recipe. The chocolate is hit or miss. Sometimes it's amazing chocolatey goodness and sometimes it's all crumbly and tastes like ash. But nobody else knows what I'm talking about and Google doesn't either. Buy the holiday themed packages so they're fresher. Or maybe they're exactly a year old. Best of luck. That the printer will always run out of ink or that the paper will get jammed when you're already rushing and stressed. Happens all the time. 100% true. 20 years in IT. Now I do training in tech support and I teach this to my classes. Callers will often be frustrated because technology doesn't generally fail when you're just chilling and have time to kill. It fails at 2am when you're finishing your major presentation due first thing in the morning. Be kind. Be understanding. Empathize. Then fix it for them. 
Conversely, machines can smell an IT person coming to fix it and will act right when we arrive, all just to save itself from being tossed in the recycler. The average human is an idiot. Can confirm, I'm average and an idiot. And 50% of the population is dumber than that. Black bears are learning that they could benefit from a friendly relationship with humans after seeing how easy domesticated dogs and cats have it. They are in the early stages of trying to domesticate themselves. Source, none. I just see TikTok videos of bears being cute near people. They love the swimming pools and heated jacuzzis. And picnic baskets, the thieving bastards. Back pain can make your life a nightmare. Can confirm, have serious back pain. Life is a nightmare. That disagreeing with someone's opinion isn't an attack on them. I believe debate should be a required class, not an extracurricular club. Too many people are unable to separate opinion versus self-argument versus ego. Edit. People have pointed out that there are issues with the win at all costs nature of formal debate. I'm envisioning something more like a class teaching logical skills, fallacies, healthy discussion, etc. Earth is not flat. If the earth was really flat cats would have pushed everything off the edge by now edit. Thanks for the awards. Edit 2. And the upvotes. 3. That I will die in a car accident on the 27th of August of an undisclosed year. About 15 years ago. A friend of mine told me about a disturbing dream they had. I had died in a car accident. And it was the 27th of August. They didn't know the year. Two weeks later. Another friend told me the same thing. They had a dream in which I died in a car accident on the 27th of August. A game they did not know the year. Here's where it gets wild. These two friends of mine had never met. They did not know or interact with each other. Had never been in the same room with me. They didn't even go to the same school. Nor were they connected on social media. Back then it was just MySpace or AIM. So to separate friends from two completely separate groups of my social circle had a dream that I will die on the 27th of August of an unknown year. I believe it. And while it's certainly stressful around that date, it's kind of a load off for the rest of the year. Silver lining and all that. Do you just avoid getting in a car on the 27th of August? One often meets his destiny on the road he takes to avoid it. Master Uguay. Aliens exist somewhere in this universe. Personally I find being alone in the universe way I'm more terrifying because it implies that no life form has survived whatever life barrier they had. Which we might encounter in the future as well. My bidet attachment cleans my air hole better than TP. People don't genuinely care about deaths of strangers they don't personally know or haven't met. If people had the option to choose to sacrifice 10 lives of people they have never met to save one they love, they would do it without hesitation. They probably wouldn't admit it out loud, but they would agree to it. I would sacrifice millions for the person I love. LOL. That LOL at the end makes this message 10x creepier. I went to DreamWorks Studios when I was 11 to give a presentation of my animation skills. Nobody ever believes me when I tell them that story. I swear I'm not making it up. It really happened. To keep it brief, I took an online animation course and the company that made the course liked it so much that asked me to be a model student for a business deal with DreamWorks to use their IPs in their courses. They flew me out to LA for free. I got a private tour of the studio. And I even got to meet two animators who were working in animation tests for trolls. Which came out three years later. I even got to see concept art for the Captain Underpants movie. Which had just started development at the time. To this day I still think this is my life speak and it's all downhill from here. Edit. If anyone wants to see the animation here's a link to it. Edit 2. I wanna clarify that while this is the animation I made. I did not make the characters. Assets. Or story. The course instructors provided all of that and told me what to animate. I just made them move. However, I did add a lot of unique details and elements on my own. Such as having the secondary character throughout the whole animation and having them jump into the spaceship at the end. Dude, that is an incredible animation. Especially for an 11 year old and their first one at that. Good creative concept. Good execution. The inside of USB ports are designed to switch round to ensure you can only plug in USB cables on your third attempt after twisting it round, then twisting it back. 
the creator regrets not making them work both ways. It was an option and would have cost a small fraction more. Imagine during his funeral it takes them 3 times to put him in the ground. About 25 years ago I saw a black panther jump across the road in front of our car. It was about 20 feet away and we just missed it. It jumped from out of the bushes on the left, landed in the middle and then jumped clean into the bushes on the right. It was about 4 feet long with a tail almost as big. This was at night and my gf and me saw it clearly in the headlights. My neighbor, I don't live there anymore, in Texas saw a black panther drinking out of his pool. It was late at night and my neighbor was silently drifting around on a floaty, looked over, and there's a panther drinking the pool water. I am better looking than my twin brother. You slash Robert the unfancy vance are you going to take this? If my morning routine is disrupted, the day is gonna be bad. History is written and preserved and distributed by the winners. Humans are capable of lying, twisting facts to show themselves, places and people they like in a good light. Modern world has PR agencies for rich and connected. Combine the two and history as we know it is a twisted version of what really happened. Live long enough you see history twisted from just 20 years ago. Has made me super cynical over pretty much anything. My default is whatever I am hearing is bullshit. Oh. J. Did it. Not being available 24-7 despite being reachable 24-7 is fine. I look good in the mirror. I look terrible in photos. Epstein didn't kill himself. Everything is temporary. The war on drugs is what ultimately created the problematic prison overpopulations. And the crack and opioid epidemics in the US. Decriminalizing drugs. Creating a safe spot for addicts to use, and give proper treatments to those who want it, would result in less crime. Just check out Switzerland. Since the heroin prescription program started in Switzerland, the number of heroin patients involved in muggings has declined by about 70% and the number of heroin patients involved in hard drug trafficking has dropped by more than 80%. HTTPS colon slash slash www ojp gov ncjrs virtual library abstracts does heroin prescription reduce crime results evaluation swiss a sandwich is always better if someone else makes it for you that current inflation in the us is by design after covid hit the ppp loan program was used to give 800 billion dollars in newly printed dollars to companies under the guise of saving jobs of that 800 billion dollars 94 percent of loans have been forgiven but at least we saved jobs right no on average that the 800 billion dollars spent on saving jobs resulted in a total cost of 170 dollars 000 250 dollars 000 per one year of a single worker's job saved meanwhile the average american got one stroke 200th of that as a one-time 1200 dollars payment that's deliberated for months in congress as of today billionaires have profited by one dollar seven trillion a 58 percent total increase since covid began and the working class is left holding the bag once again america is a plutocracy run by the rich for the rich and to think otherwise at this point is naive money does buy happiness you cannot convince me otherwise sure okay it is not everything you can be depressed and rich but no one gonna tell me that money does not buy that cute stuff i wanted to wear or that delicious meal imar be cooking hollowing out the entire moon to build a theme park inside of it would be a good idea also i'd turn the entire surface into a large hotel there is always someone better and worse than you at everything be humble when winning edit bolt is a legend just as all of the world record holders through the decades are maybe not at this moment but maybe tomorrow or next decade they will be someone better my dad told me this when i was a young one i always believed it to be true you can't make everyone happy i write comments on reddit and people read them that our phones are listening to us in order to hit us with relevant advertising too many times now i've been talking about something or been in a situation and an advert for it popped up an hour or so later the queen ain't in that box people are queuing 10 miles to see no way would they risk and bother putting her close to the commoners she's in a morgue elsewhere awaiting all this for show bollocks to end to be switched back in 
I don't know what comes next but I know I'll have to get through it one way or another. Religion causes more harm than good. Being alive is exhausting. When I was very young it had rained hard one day and there was this huge ditch thing in our backyard that got filled up it was like a mini lake I swear to this day a huge ass fish of some sort jumped out of it. Whoa, you made it to the end, you're a ducking beast, I'll cut you a deal, smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh, it's free and that's a great price.